So uh, I wanted to talk about some uh, you know, ways that we can optimize windows. This is, this is relevant for both uh, embedded and, uh, and retail. So a lot of you that have been on the forums probably know some of these tricks already, but uh, they're pretty simple ways of really getting that OEM look. So obviously the no GUI boot, that's an obvious one. Creating a custom boot logo, this is one of the tricks that we did for the uh, uh, MP3 car project. Create a bus custom boot logo and then also set that as the desktop background. And uh, I believe we did like a, one of those messages, was it, was it the MP3 car logo or one of the, like don't use this device as you're driving or something like that? I, mean, I can't remember which one. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, like one of those safety messages. And so as it's booting up, an end user thinks, oh, you know, it's telling me, it's giving me this message, safety message. In the background, Windows is booting up. And you can disable uh, the desktop, actually. You can disable the taskbar. You can disable, um, you know, the startup and the shutdown messages. And, uh, you know, you can do all of these things that will, one, make the boot up process quicker and make it cleaner. So you don't have things from Windows popping up as you're booting up. Because, you know, for me, the OS should be completely in the background. People should not know that you're running Windows. People should know what front end you're running, and that's it. That's the only thing that they should be looking at. And uh, you know, performance and reliability things. I don't know if any of you saw this. So this is a Coke machine that was running Windows embedded, and it got a blue screen of death. The best part of this is that it was right outside an Apple store. You know. <laughs> So, so this was obviously from you know a pretty pretty high end you know embedded developer, and they didn't set the auto reboot on error. So this machine is sitting out there with this blue screen of death until some technician comes out and probably just flips a switch. Uh, that's pretty you know. There's no need for that. I mean, even on retail Windows, you can just set it to auto reboot on a failure. Hopefully, it was something just a you know a quirks you know some kind of you know. You, you, you know, yeah, hopefully it's not a hard drive failure because if that's the case, then you're going to keep getting a blue screen of death. But, you know, if it's just like overheating or something like that, then, you know, it'll reboot and then you can take care of it later. But, you know, like other things, don't write a full memory dump. I mean, are, you know, if you're a hobbyist or are you going to be running, you know, are you going to be like trying to debug memory dumps off your car PC? Probably not, you know, because uh, also it takes time. If, you, you know, you're writing out all that you know memory dump that takes time so you know disable all those uh, you know all those things that are really unnecessary in, in a car computer and you know obviously services there's lots of guides out on the internet and on the mp3 car forums uh, of what services to disable uh, to really speed up the boot process on Vista and Windows 7 we can delay load services so they have this concept instead of trying to load every single service that you may need at some point well, just load the base services that you need, del delay load the other ones so you can boot up quicker, and then as the computer is running, it'll load the other services that you may not need right away. And hybrid sleep on Vista and Windows 7 is a great tool. Um, you know, it's basically, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with it, when you set it, when you enable hybrid sleep, it will do a combination of hibernation and sleep. So for a short period of time, or as long as your power supply is still su supplying power to your car computer, it will be in sleep mode. Now you can just go pull the plug or your power supply can you know, kill the, the power to you know, protect your battery. But when you start it up, it will just resume, cleanly resume from hibernation. And this is essentially what Hibernate Resume uh, Many did for XP. Vista and Windows 7, you don't need that. Just use hybrid sleep. It's a great way to, you know, if you just run in and out of the store, you know, you, you're resuming from sleep right away. Otherwise, it'll just resume from hibernate. Any questions? So real quickly, most of you are probably familiar with this. Enhanced write filter, it filters writes to your hardware device. Uh, this was especially important, you know, back when uh, I first started, 2003, 2004, if you're running flash devices uh, that had limited write cycles, uh, this was necessary. This, was, this is an XP embedded component. You know, it runs on XP and Vista, and I haven't tried Windows 7 yet, but I'm, assume, I'm assuming it does. It's very easy to set up, and, uh, but you need to be careful in how you deploy it because it is capturing all rights to that volume in memory. So if you are thrashing that disk a lot, it's going to keep filling up your RAM until eventually you run out of memory. 
and it can be, you can either do it in, in memory where you lose it when you reboot or you can do it in a hidden partition um, where it will keep it between reboots but it won't actually apply it to the, the hard drive until you tell it to. Uh, then there's the file-based write filter. This was uh, uh, new with uh, one of the uh, later versions of uh, Windows Embedded. And this does the, uh, essentially the same thing, but it's doing at the file level. So this was useful for a lot of people that were complaining this. They were saying, hey, you know, I need to protect my, uh, you know, uh, flash device, but I have a bunch of little files that I need to be able to write to. Uh, you know, EWF does support some of that, but it's really complicated. This, you can basically protect your whole disk except like, you know, the specific files that you need to write to, like your, you know, uh, your um, front end configuration files, you know, things of that nature. Uh, but it doesn't work with Hibernate Once Resume Many. Hibernate Once Resume Many needs EWF. That basically creates a, a steady, a, a static hibernation image. So you set that hibernation image as, as exactly as you want it. You can pull the plug, you can you know, do whatever you want, you can restart your car PC, but it will always resume from that same hibernation image. So you get a blue screen of death, it reboots, it auto reboots, and it resumes from that previous hibernation image. It's a great way to uh, really improve the reliability of your image, of your car, car computer uh, uh, image. Go ahead. Is, is EWF useful uh, just in general computing applications with SSD hard drives? It, you can use it on SSD. I, I've seen a lot of people with, uh, you know, some of the lower end uh, SSDs that they use it because they're worried about, you know, write protection and things like that. You know, it's one thing to use it on a uh, car computer. You know, it's just too much a head of a headache to use it on a, uh, on like a laptop. I mean, on my laptop, I'm running a, an OCZ a Vertex SSD. I, I'm not running EWF. You have one of those SSDs that's all jacked up and stutters. And yeah, right and, and actually, yeah, another thing, I'm, yeah, exactly. And it's great for a flash device that has very slow writes um, because obviously those writes aren't getting to the, um, to the uh, hard drive. Uh, so it, it, it can potentially even speed up the, the, the device. Uh, min logon, uh, I'll try to wrap up quickly here. Min logon. This bypasses the XP logon process. This is another guide that's on the EW or on the uh, OS optimization forums. Uh, this will basically log you in as the local system account. Um, there are a lot of things you have to be careful of. Um, it's extremely fast boot up process, but it's extremely finicky. There's a lot of kind of compatibility problems that it's going to introduce. Um, so you need to be careful how you use it. <coughs> 